Hey guys, welcome back. This is going to be part two of the Jenny Springs Ultimate Guide. You don't really need to see the other one first before watching this, but, uh, but I do recommend watching it. Uh, in this video we're going to give you even more useful tips and advice, so make sure to subscribe, like, and enjoy the video. So the most interesting springs here are probably the Devil's Spring System, where you have three different springs all close together. That is where you'll find most of the scuba divers as well, which I'll talk about shortly. However, our favorite spring was Dogwood Spring. The spring itself wasn't near as interesting as Devil Springs, but I think we liked it so much since we were the only ones there. We went around 8 in the morning but it seemed to be way less crowded most of the time. This is where I got the most incredible shots of the water, including this one. It was also really interesting here, where the spring meets up with the river. No matter which spring you go to, get there early for the least amount of people and the best pictures. Oh, and make sure to bring your action cameras. You can get some incredible pictures and videos here. Deer Spring and Twin Spring are typically not very crowded either, and Jenny Spring and Devil Springs are going to be the busiest. Let us know in the comments which spring is your favorite here at Jenny Springs or anywhere in Florida. That was fast. <laughs> yeah. Let's get back. I'm going to put that tarp over our thing. It rains more here than it did in the Amazon. This is nuts. Got the rain tent up and it started pouring. So, that was fortunate timing. So much for our drying rack. Pretty nice camp spot. Uh, pretty kind of private. Kind of reminds me of uh, the campsite we had at Jekyll Island. Also, when I was really happy to have the rain tent. If you follow us, you know our favorite camp meal. I'll save you all the details, but I did smoke some pork butts with a coffee rub, and it was unbelievable how good it was on these nachos. That's the sun hitting our wetsuits the next morning. It's gonna be hot. Well, Shannon found a cat. Actually, I don't know if she finds the cats or the cats find her. Jenny Springs has a very different check-in, check-out policy than other campsites. Most campsites we've been to, you can't check in until 3 p.m. and check-out is around 11 in the morning. At Jenny Springs, you can check in as early as 8 a.m and check out is around sunset. It was kind of nice because on the last day you still have a full day to do activities. Just make sure you understand your reservation. So in the previous video I talked about the different campsites and some of the amenities at Jenny Springs, but I didn't talk about the prices. 
We've got our shanty town going on. I'm sure the uh, neighbors love it. Probably need a better looking tarp. Daily admission for the park only is $15 for adults, $5 for kids 5 to 12, and free for children under 4. I think I'm ready. Finally. Got my raft, got my uh, got a GoPro, got my speaker, drink. You want to be on the water when it's raining again. Camping is charged per person, which includes the daily admission into the park. Well, hopefully it won't rain. In-season camping rates for an adult is $30 per day, 8 for children 5 to 12, and free for kids under 4. You'll pay an extra $11 per night for an electric and water oh site. Gosh, oh my gosh, look at that thing. That's the biggest tarp I've ever seen. This is going to be fun. Finally got some sun. Oh, he's not just a baby. He's kind of in the water. He's about four feet long. Now I'm a little nervous. Well, I'm not worried about him. I'm worried about his mom. I don't watch them then. They don't watch their young necessarily. I don't know, but they, they're the ones having them. So they weren't kidding. That is an alligator. Guess we're swimming with alligators. No, baby one. I know it's a baby alligator. Someone's having those babies. Like I said, they're, they're long, long gone. We probably came up here because it's the only survival. Now then we'll eat it. <laughs> Uh, I see the tube exit. Mm -hmm. It's probably a good time to take it. Well, not sure you can see it on the GoPro, but the alligator's still over there. Kind of cool. We really wanted to see one. Maybe not quite that close, but at least his baby. Jenny Springs is a premier cave diving destination. In short, you can dive at the Jenny Spring and the Devil Springs system. As I briefly mentioned in the last video, Jenny Springs goes down 50 feet and enters into what is called the ballroom. You can dive here without a cave diving certification. If you have your cave diving certification, dive at Jenny Spring, then head over to the Devil Springs system. There you can dive three different springs, and they are some of the most popular freshwater dives in the world. Little Devil looks like a massive crack about four feet wide. It is 50 feet long and almost 50 feet deep. Devil's Eye is a round structure, and at the bottom is a small entrance that opens to a beautiful cavern. Devil's Ear is a canyon-like opening located where the Devil Spring joins the Santa Fe River. Scuba diving is $24 per day for certified cave divers and $32 a day for all other divers. Make sure to read all the diving regulations before coming to Jenny Springs. For instance, if you're not cave certified, you're not allowed to use lights in the caves. We planned on diving, but it was closed until the last day we were there. We did end up cave diving at the Blue Grotto. I'll have a video of that out later.
Jenny Springs has a full line of snorkeling and diving equipment for rent, as well as being able to rent canoes, kayaks, and paddleboards. You can also rent a volleyball. They have several volleyball courts here. See their website for current pricing. Well, I think we're all packed up at Jenny Springs. It's been uh, super fun. Been here about four days. First two days poured off and on. And then the last two days have been pretty good. Did a lot of floating, swam through a lot of springs. Uh, this is a super nice area. Our place was kind of nice and quiet, probably because it's through the week and we're on the electric and water sites. But the open camping, especially on the weekends when we got here, it's, it's a party. It's actually kind of fun. It's probably not for everybody, but I'd definitely come back here. Now we're headed to down towards Crystal River. We're going to do some snorkeling for oysters, check out the manatees. We might go to Rainbow River and go snorkel through that. Maybe see some more alligators. Make sure to check out part one of our ultimate Jenny Springs guide. We give you some general information about Jenny Springs, including location, amenities, and the best activities. We also talk about tips for inner tubes and snorkeling the river to show you some of the wildlife you will see. We saw a ton of fish and turtles. And we mentioned the different types of campsites and the best time of week to visit to avoid the big party. I think he's had too much fun. All right, guys, make sure to like and subscribe. Check out our recommended playlist. And to see part one of this video, all you have to do is click here.